Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and wait, this isn't Stellaris or Humankind. Oh right, Europa Universalis 4 is a game we play sometimes, and I have some sort of series going on right now with Croatia. I do like this really pale color. Sort of a powder purple, you know what I'm saying? I think it's quite nice. Maybe maybe a violet, in fact. I'm not sure. Um, Yeah, we've got our little run going over here. It's 1624, so we're nearing uh, the halfway mark of our run. And we've been making some pretty good advances more recently. I mean, overall, it's been a little bit on the chill side, a little bit on the cautious side, perhaps. Perhaps overcautious, but um, we're still really satisfied with how things are going. Loving that we've got so much of the coast over here. We did just boop the Ottomans, right? We have a we have a truce with the Ottomans uh, that is going to last for well, that looks like 15 years to me, which is maximum troop, truce duration, and yet it hasn't really ticked down. So I think we just pieced out over there. We have a bunch of coring to do. Um, I think we're just kind of going to chill here. We have a lot of manpower. We're not anywhere near a cap because we did take some uh, quantity ideas. How far are we down on that? Yeah, we've got the first two, which are the critical ones, right? More manpower is a cap, which does increase the amount you get per tick. And then another boost to the amount we get per tick over here, which is going to be very good. Um, aggressive expansion. What's the situation like over there? I mean, these two are cranked. That's not so bad. The Ottomans, that's going to tick down before they join in. Um... But it would be terrifying if the Ottomans plus, you know, three other random things would be willing to jump in. Because then all of a sudden that might be a little bit on the intimidating side. So we'll see. We do have a few years before we cap out on manpower and I start to get itchy again. So I think we can probably just go ahead and unpause for now. We do have a decent amount of cash. But I might want to wait to see about more manufactories or, I don't know, maybe there's more of the soldier's household or something that we're going to be interested in building. Do I need to have my forts up. Not right now. So we're going to go ahead and drop those. If the autosave can finish, thank you very much, autosave. We'll keep an eye on these. We don't have anyone rebel busting yet. Oh wait, hold on. We're in a war. Oh, the horde conquest of Imereti. I don't think I need to do anything at all over here. I suspect the great horde is going to smash it. They're already going well in war score. We don't have a fort over here. Did I ever set yeah, a little bit of a zone of interest? Tributary of the Great Horde that will likely defend them. Except I'm currently in a war on the side of the Great Horde. I should be able to... Yeah, because they're, they're knocked out here. We should be able to do that. I mean, we're not going to take a lot of land along the way. Um, these guys. Kazan. I don't know if it's worth declaring for a single province. Anything fancy going on here? It's got salt. Love me some salt. I think it's probably worth doing this. I'm gonna snag this while. Oh. Oh! Oh, this counts as an overlordship, right? Like a vassalage. So it's interesting because it says we'll likely defend them, right? If someone declares war on a vassal, it obviously immediately declares war on the overlord. Here, it's implied that the Great Horde is not required to defend. Oh, did I send anyone in the same province? Okay, well, let's split you up. Um. It's not required to defend, but I guess I can't declare war on them at all in the current situation. Okay, well, fine, fair. Okay. Well, so much for that idea. Um, let's do some rebel busting. Tell you what, you over here are going to work your way down to the coast. Mostly for all the nastiness and crankiness over in this end of things. Done. And I'm going to get you... I could, I suppose, do one of these groups drilling, but I think we'll appreciate the extra rubble busting like this. I think it's going to be quite convenient. So we'll do that for now. Yes, we have mothballed farts. That's okay. Um, soldiers' households. Yeah, I don't care about that one. Probably we'll live without the impressment office. Although, okay, first of all, our sailors are capped. Our 
our ships over here. What is our naval force limit? We do have quite a bit of room over here because we did get more coast. And that's only going to improve as the autonomy drops over here as well. Um, do we have naval oriented missions that we want to do? We still have the Crete Grand Fleet. Do I want to bring my galleys up to 30 just to complete this? I think that might not be a bad idea. Although we might not be able to advance any further, but then at that point I don't have to worry about these galleys anymore. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, park them over here, and we are going to do that. It will be very handy to have this galley fleet. I mean, we might not keep them around. They might go ahead and get themselves... Um, if we lose some in battle, we probably won't stress about replacing them. But we get to complete the mission, and then we will have this galley fleet for at least the one go. Once these are built, we'll probably build a few more light ships as well. Okay, I'm pleased that I thought about the sailor thing a little bit, because that is something I would like to do. How is our trade power in Venice? Actually, we're not even that far from the 75%. I mean, it does get harder and harder and harder to, to tick in here. Because when we build buildings and stuff, they're not, you know, buildings that add 5% trade. They add a certain amount of trade power, which you know, the, the math becomes harder and harder to become dominant, but it's not that mad, especially throwing a few more ships, maybe do a little bit more development on the coast over here, or just win one more war in this area is likely going to do enough of it. Um, if we can grab Urbino, that, that might be enough to send us over. Yeah, currently... Yeah. Hmm. 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 All right, that's good news. So I am happy that we're advancing the mission because I think we can get the 75% trade thing fairly soon. Uh, Hesse and Portugal. Portugal's interesting. 54 with no heirs. It is conceivable that something could happen. I mean, we're already over a limit by one. Any chance you're willing to do a royal marriage? Looks like the answer is very much no. We do have a religious mish... Yeah, we do have a religious mismatch. And not a great attitude. So... I mean, there was also Hessa, but they were much younger, right? At 22, so it's much more likely they'll get an heir before um, they kick the bucket. So, less to be excited about. Alright, Rebel Fractions are growing slightly, but not much. We still have our lovely little vassal over here. Although... Well, they are sieging this area, but I'm not concerned. This this war is going to be ended by the Great Horde, and they can probably boot these guys if they want. Um, if they siege this out, it, it matters not. Um, with Crete... I think we have reached the point where we're going to be happy to integrate them, right? I had wanted to feed a little bit more land to them, which I have now done. Right, we're improving relations with them. That's probably why. I'm probably over, uh, improving relations with the plan to um, annex them, hopefully not too long after this war ends. That would be quite lovely. You're being upgraded, which is fine. Sailors are good. Manpower is definitely taken up. Cores are coring. One of the things I was uh, reminded of, because I think it is something that I might have, you know, noticed in the patch notes at some point a long time ago, but since forgot, I forgot that at some point they equalized the movement speed on the units, so cavalry doesn't actually move faster than infantry anymore. I'm a little bit annoyed. I mean, I'm sure there's a good game balance reason for doing that, but like, thematically, shouldn't the cavalry be faster than infantry? I would have thought. So yeah, I've been using the, the cavalry to go and do some quick sieges and stuff, but they're not really any quicker than that, so I guess I don't have to do it that way. Womp womp. That is disappointing. But probably there was a good reason. I don't know. All right, ships are assembling. Uh, we do still have this money. Hold on. Sailor's households. Yeah, see, that's... Or soldier's household. Which, yeah, maybe. How many more of these manufacturers do you pop out? I mean, the payback period should still be here. Let's call this a half a gold per month, or let's say, okay, if it were, um, then that means six gold per year. Let's call it five gold per year, just just doing guesstimates, uh, which means it's going to need a hundred years to pay back, uh, which will happen before the end of the game. And of course, there are other multipliers that come in. So in fact, the payback period is shorter than that. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. All right, let's go up. We could probably go up to speed five, actually. I'm going to start one more over here. Although the manpower buildings are very tempting, because we've got extra multipliers for everything like that. Coring is coming in. Uh, we can also start our conversion process. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. 
more of those will come up as we uh, core things. Make states, sure. I don't think there's any reason not to do that. Will require spending more admin power, but I think that's fine. It took him a while to occupy this, despite having no fort over here. So, am I going to have to go over there and kick some ass? Hostile fort. Yeah, we don't have access rights. Um, can we get access rights through Lithuania? I mean, we've mostly been... Uh... We have annulled treaties with them, which means we can't even ask for access rights? I didn't even realize that was a thing. I could load some people on the boats. I don't know, maybe we do need to get over here. I don't think I've got any transports. I think they all went away. Which does actually put us in a fairly awkward position. It'd be nice if the Great Horde could ask for access rights from Lithuania. Anyway, I'm just gonna... I'll, well, let's just stand... Oops. Not bad. You are gonna stay here. You are gonna move over there. So you have to go back to... Rebel Stomp. I mean, I could have you... It's not gonna be as effective, but let me do this for now. I could have this guy take over once it gets there, but... Alright, yeah, manpower is climbing quickly. I bet you we're not at our force limit. Ah, uh, we basically are. 90 of 93? That is pretty damn close. So discontent, increasing unrest. I might have to counter-spy the Ottomans more often. I do have a free diplomat. You know what? Let's do this. We have a ton of money. So Ramparts, Impressment... Yeah. I mean, what else am I going to save my money for right now? Actually, I should take a look at, like, workshops and things to see if they're worthwhile. Uh, I don't really care about Syria's opinion of me. Uh, we'll take the trade. I don't think it really matters which way we go. There we go. Discovered the Ottomans. I'm shocked, shocked to find out that the Ottomans are spying on me. Boy. Hard to believe. The payback period on those isn't bad. Again, the taxes don't scale up the same way. Oh, I should maybe check to see if there's trade buildings I want to build. Because at this point, that's the thing that's going to scale up the most. Deal with the plague. Marital bliss. Half price level 3. It's actually very affordable at this point. And especially with the trader? Yeah. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna take ourselves our quantity idea, are we? Yeah, we're well ahead on military tech. So, yep, yeah, we are definitely looking for these point sinks. Um, we are gonna need some Diplo power sink, which is what's gonna happen with Crete. I guess taking this uh, more expensive advisor might bite us in the ass here. But what I can do is I can do a little bit of development in provinces that have like a good trade good, maybe. Conversions ahoy! I'd love to come help you, bro, but you gotta get me access rights to Lithuania. Or the Ottomans. Oh, which actually, hold on. We can walk through here. Okay, that fort is gonna be stopping things. I was going to say, where, where'd the, our rebels pop? But they're not our rebels. I will go and help out my vassal, though. And then we'll come back after. Can I do rebel stomping in this ter their territory? I might be able to, actually. Lithuania sharing things. Truce expired with people who don't matter to us. Sure, you can have access rights. I'm going to get some attrition along the way. Bohemia declares war on Galicia, which is the reddish bit over here, right? Okay. 
there might be stuff I'd want for myself at some point, but the Hungarian Separatists are really cropping up right now. Where are they going to pop? Chopron and Feher. Which is where? I mean, Hungary used to be over here, right? Oh, over here. Interesting. Tell you what, I don't have to raise um, forts everywhere, but I just will, just so that I don't have to worry about micromanaging where they might pop up over here while we deal with this. Sure, sure, sure. Everyone can have access rights. Why is that sliding so slowly? Battle of Athens was won. Um, what I'm going to do is detach a minimal amount of siege, and then we're going to make our way back up over here. Uh, yeah, we are about to hit the Diplo power cap. Um... I think I would like to do development. We could take a cheaper development thing somewhere, potentially. So this is sorted by, say, total development. So like Drac over here. So right now it's not doing so well. Because it doesn't have... So Albanian is... Same culture group. How's our exception of cultures? We're at 4-4... Four four. What about culture conversion? That could be a good sink for things. I think that's actually an excellent idea. Let's do some cultural conversion. Because then long term's giant benefits to doing that. Honestly, I'm going to keep going here. So you get a lot of stability. Screw it. Let's do it. You get a lot of stability. Uh, you get more value out of those provinces. I mean, we are eventually going to gain the ability to um, accept more stuff. But not yet. Okay, good. So yeah, we're going to head that way as well now. And wait, did I get stopped here? Oh. shift or square select everything we mu I must have gotten stopped by a boat blockading this or something yeah probably that fleet right over there all right go out there and get sieging I want this ward end so that I can annex these guys and yeah you know what I think I'm fine with this I mean if we um if we'd vassalize more things, we'd have more um, Diplo power sinks. I'm worried that I may have spent too much. On the other hand, it really will do great things for our stability and long-term uh, productivity. Sort of, I get spending the Diplo power internally, that makes it a little bit more like growing tall rather than uh, growing wide. Which, I don't know if that's really what we were intended to do, but I guess that's where we are. You have, yeah, you've got a couple of pips of siege, so that's gonna have to do okay. You've got 15 cannons, which is nice. Remerge you. Oh, and put you back on squishing rebels, please. I'll cover that just in case. Ooh, that's a lot of war score for that. The siege is gonna go by extremely quick. Oh, because it's just a capital fort, it's not even a real fort. Wow. Okay. And I might just give you carpet siege duties. Although, it's basically there. I'm actually surprised the war score's not higher. It'll probably go up a bunch when we, uh... It's expensive, but sure. Uh, when we take the capital fort here. Truce with Lithuania ended. I mean, I don't actually border them. I don't really have any specific desire to go after them. Most of them sad we're not friends anymore. Okay, much conversion, much stability. Bohemian Separatists still looking to pop any second now. But we'll be in a good position to respond to that. We're getting maybe more attrition there than we need, but on the other hand... Wow. Um, on the other hand, our manpower's fine. Uh, yeah, great. I want to check a look at trade. Oh, and in fact, I didn't realize we'd unlocked a higher tier of trade building. So, spam out a bunch of those. 
I mean, some of the trade nodes where we're doing things aren't necessarily the most potent, but they're not bad. Risk of trade. Um, that would put us into debt, which would be annoying. Although, I mean, we, we, you know, we get it back pretty quick, but I'll just go with this. Piss off the burgers. They're disloyal, which is going to increase my development cost if I want to do something with that. You're going to go and step on those guys. Mm-hmm. Which is good because there's not a fort around there. Ah, there we go. 99%. Perfect. So I'm just going to start sending my dudes back. Most likely the, the war will end sooner. Our guys will get black flagged anyway. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Done and done. So we still have the Bohemians. Ready to go any second now. Tons of being, buildings being built. Including these uh, manufacturers that take forever to get built. Uh, courthouse. Oh yeah, we can... Well, hmm. If we are planning to do development somewhere, we could do the universities. We will want universities later for one of these institutions. I think maybe Enlightenment. We'll pop down a few because it can mean it can spawn in our nation, which would be the greatest. But even if it... <coughs> excuse me. Even if it doesn't spawn in our nation, um, that can enable it to spread. Come on, peace out so I can va uh, annex my vassal, please. You're at 99%. What are you waiting for? Thank you. God. Getting cranky over here. Dun, dun, dun. Annex vassal. Done and done. Too few rivals. Well, I don't want to rival France. I think it's Tuscany. Now, did I end up rebuilding my relationship with Tuscany? I did not. Okay, so yeah, we're going to take Tuscany. Because they're close and not that strong. Although, I suppose I should have checked to see what your relationship was. And Ooh. See, they're allied to France. Which could make things a little wee bit awkward. Because I can't declare war on them directly, because that would be bad. Now, can I declare war on the Papal States? I mean... No CB, really? Wait, really? Do you only get the Holy War CB on people you have a land connection with? Huh. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to fabricate some claims on the Papal State. Because I can declare war on them, it'll bring in Tuscany without France, I can beat up Tuscany, cause them to break up their alliance with France. And wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, their allies are totally fine and not scary. Yeah, I think I like this idea quite a bit. You're still walking over here, which is fine. I can probably put you on just drilling. Since this guy's doing all the rebel busting we, we really need. I mean, if these rebels pop, it's fine. We even have a fort over here. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my forts. Except for this one over here. Because this is a province where rebels could pop. And this also protect the province next to it. Oh, um, I can remove... I don't remember. Uh, there's the leave. I guess there's no dit remove all from the HRE button. I mean, I don't really care that much, but... Guess I may need to use the HRE map mode. Return province, no. Oh my god, there's so much. No, I really thought... I guess it's just the add-all. It has to have a remove-all. There probably is. Just like there's a core all button that I never use. I was going to say, you shouldn't be getting attrition here. But I guess it's just because there was someone walking through. Oh, this place is much higher supply. So we'll park you there to try to prevent the attrition problems from walking through. Are we capped on manpower? Not quite, but we're about to. Um, our force limit will have gone up a little bit more with the extra land. Do a little bit of that. Because we can. And then, yeah, build the spy network over here in the Papal States. And then we'll start planning on starting some wars. There's a rebellion. 
the siege is starting, but we're going to go and bust it, which is A-OK. -okay. You guys are currently at your force limit, which is fine. How much is our trade in the Venice trade out yet? Not, still not close to 75% for the next mission. But if we take a bunch of stuff down the East Coast... I mean, yeah, we're still... We're still coring. Well, that was probably the last one. Yeah, done coring. We're still doing conversions. We're going to have a little bit of internal instability in our country. That would be nice to uh, to deal with before we start warfare. But on the other hand, we've got all the manpower in the universe. Oh. Did they get force converted? Or is it because... Wait. Bohemia lost their war against Galicia? I don't... I don't think I'm remembering wrong. I think Bohemia declared the war. They declared and then lost? Against this kind of coalition? Like, or alliance web? What? Okay. Feels like there's, a. Uh... There's still some questions there. Must Something must have happened, unexpectedly. Maybe someone else also was in a war with Bohemia. Maybe it's because their land was cut off, they couldn't get access rights? Or I might be confused as to what the war was, but I don't think so. Alright, you drill, you rub... Actually, do we still need to rubble bust? Mm, not as much, really. Why don't you go ahead and just drill then? We can always wait for these guys to pop and then boop them before things go any further. I can bring down this fort over here. That's going to be fine. And then, okay, the numbers do start to ratchet up. But it might still be okay, and we might still be happy about the drilling, actually. Get them high-quality troops. As, say, as more things become cored, as more things lose their, um, their autonomy, these things get better. Oh, speaking of... I'm going to lower some autonomy in places, because this will give me some absolutism. Heck, I could even do it in places where they're cranky already. Just get them to bop first before the war starts. kind of like that idea. I'll wait on that one. Um... Now, this is going to lend itself to a lot more instability, so I think I will cancel some of the drill. Just so that it doesn't go too fast, too hard. But I'm actually very happy about that. In um, we should actually take a look at whatever absolutism is. I'm assuming we're nowhere near the cap, because the absolutism mechanic was only unlocked recently. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're at 38 of 88. So yeah, we're nowhere near the cap. It would have been a little stupid maybe if I'd wasted, if I'd done that and invited a bunch of rebellion within my borders that, um, without actually gaining absolutism. On the other hand, lowering autonomy is good, because then we do get the, uh, more of the benefits of the provinces a lot faster. Da -da -da. Yeah, these take a while. I don't think I'm going to start any others, because I don't think we're that far ahead on, eh, still fairly far ahead on Diplo. If I'm going to do culture conversion, the sooner I do it, the better. I don't think I'm going to do more vassal tricks at this point. Or not not as many. Like, I'm not I'm not targeting one, is I guess what I should be saying. Screw it. I mean, maybe this is a huge waste of monarch power, but I don't think so. I think it's going to be nice. And it takes... What it does is it takes the pressure away from me from feeling like, I gotta go expand, expand, expand. If we can just be a little, you know, a little bit richer. A little bit more monocultural. I mean, we are literally eliminating people's cultures, which obviously, if you think about it in terms of actual history, is pretty shitty. But in terms of video games and pushing buttons... Austria declares war in Styria. Lack of demands for books. Boo! Actually, oh yes, more trade buildings. I was going to say, we didn't actually finish last time. There's probably some others that are decent. Decent-ish. I don't know if all those trade buildings are necessarily worthwhile, but what the hell, we'll slap a few more down. We might actually have some benefits for more of the uh, the barracks and things now, especially with a few more of the soldiers' households being done, so we can get some extra multipliers. 
You are a half price level three military advisor. Yeah, I mean, we can definitely afford you. I don't know if we can hire you quite yet until we get another income tick or two. Oh, it's actually, wow, it's really cheap to hire. So it's, it's like half for the maintenance, but it's what? 80% off? I don't know. I don't know what the modifier is here, but yeah, we'll grab you. That's going to be nice. That's going to be very nice. Especially since we're still working on a Quantia ID group over here, so more uh, military power is definitely welcome. It is interesting. Clearly, uh, some of our neighbors, or at least one of our neighbors, is on military tech level 15, or 19. Sorry, he's looking at the 5 over here. So someone's quite far ahead there. Yeah, see, these training fields are going to be pretty valuable. But we can just bank for now. We might get some more events that, like, cost us money, and we don't really want to go into debt if we can afford it. Speaking of debt, this is still, um, the inflation's still very much reducing. Not really feeling the need to do anything over here. Although, I suppose at some point I could start, um, just popping these. Three on areas will gain unrest. Oh, that's interesting. And three will revolt. I mean, we literally hit zero for the burgers, so it kind of makes sense. We can just wait for some of those modifiers to go away. I think for now we're okay. It feels like uh, the building the spy network in the Papal State's going really slowly. They have no spy detection. Zero percent risk of being discovered. See, so yeah, I don't. It doesn't feel like it's going very quickly. Maybe I don't know. Maybe normally we have modifiers from people who are directly adjacent to us. That I don't really pay attention to the like spy speed modifiers. Um, I think we do get a boost if they're a rival, but, and the Papal State isn't, but that's okay. Um, I mean, how, what's our true situation with Venice? I mean, we do have one. Trade League. All that is very manageable. Actually, our truce with Venice goes away in just a few months. And if we were to take Ravina from them, no, this actually could be a good candidate for vassalizing. Although, now we have more admin power than Diplo, so we might just want to core things. Um, the big question mark really is going to be how scary of a coalition might form. Well, the Ottomans are below 50, and they're unlikely to get much over here. and that, So that that's fine. Even if we got four nations willing to coalition me, like four nations that I don't have a truce with and blah, 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 they're likely not going to be anything that's too scary and that we could actually deal with if they triggered. So we actually might go to war with Venice pretty quickly here. Now, if I move my troops, we might start to get some rebels popping up, which would be slightly annoying. But maybe. All right, I'm going to put a cut in here because we've gone a little bit over schedule already. Um, Annex Vassal is taking while. Everything feels very slow. What's our Diplo rep? I mean, it's above one. Or it's like it's positive, which is good. Um, I don't know if like these... these Partial numbers are enough to swing it into a faster annexation. I don't know if it actually uses... This is what, three as a base? Oh, it is counting the plus... Oh, no, two is a base, and it is giving us the plus one for our Diplo rep. I mean, unless it is actually just secretly giving us 2.9, but I don't think you get partial Diplo power, so it must just round to the closest whole number. Anyway, all right, folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.